financial worth. According to Forbes, Springsteen's net worth in 2016 was a cool 400. Hey everyone, good morning. Um, this is it. This is Embarkation Day. Cruise Day. We get to get on the Encore very shortly. Actually, right after we do this, we're going to start walking over. Yep. It and is across the street. We can see the ship from here, from our room. So. So, for those of you who are thinking of uh, leaving our Norwegian to Alaska, you can't ask for a better, more convenient hotel with great service. And yeah. The restaurant this, here is even good, too, and walking distance everywhere on the waterfront. Yeah, this uh, Marriott waterfront is absolutely perfectly located for this. And what a beautiful restaurant they have, and the, the room is great. We love it. Yep. Yeah, it's all renovated rooms. All nice, updated. We showed you. USB uh, ports everywhere, outlets everywhere. You really... This covers all the bases, and it's just nice here. It's just really it is, nice. and so. uh, it's a little looks a little breezy. Everybody's got sweatshirts and stuff on. Yeah. So we're gonna head on over across the street. No need for a car. No need for anything. You just we're push just your luggage. Walk our bags over. Walk yeah. over to Pier 66, and there should be an area to drop off, and uh, then we go right inside the terminal. And that's it. So join us for some more. We'll be on the ship next time you see us. Actually, you'll see us as we're embarking. I love we're, the videos. Yeah, we're gonna, the we're gonna do a little bit gangway. of gangway stuff as yeah. we get in there. So, all right, see you soon. See you soon. So this was one of the smoothest uh, terminal check-ins. We dropped off our luggage outside because they were already tagged, and then walked in, went through, showed them our documents, flew through security, and checked in. I don't know, I think it took 10 minutes and we're here. And we're going to be boarding in less than an hour, so awesome. And this is the most organized cruise port of any cruise port I think I've ever embarked from. So I'm really impressed with this uh, Seattle uh, cruise port. And it just with Norwegian in general, everything has been beyond smooth and people have been wonderfully friendly. It's been really, really good. And you can see behind me, there's the Encore. There she is. Can you see the name? Probably not. That's the Norwegian Encore that we'll be uh, cruising on for the next week. So there she is, walking the dog around that they just no. unloaded. Not one thing that's unsniffed. That's like the ringmaster guy. They're taking all of this from these two huge containers. They're bringing it all out, back and forth. If you notice in front of all those containers on the pallets, right in front of them is a huge cargo door. So I guess once it's cleared, there's a guy who marks each pallet, and then the dog checks everything. And then I guess they'll start loading them into the ship. But it is pretty cool. We got a great view here at the window. They've done a bit more. They got some more that's there. He's loading out here. Looks like this first truck is empty because they closed it up. And let's see if I can see the next truck is backing down. The operation continues. This is a non stop operation. It's awesome. Hey, you say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. There it is. Here we are, doing a long way down. Well, so, check it out, we're moving pretty good. Yeah, we're moving now, people. This has been really, really efficient. They even organized it well, by they even, mustard. Yeah, by your mustard station. That's pretty crazy. They split it up. And they here's the whole up. terminal. They split us up to even check in. They split us up here. There's no lines anymore. This, I mean, look how quickly we're going through this. This is like unheard of. I don't think... I have never seen anything move like this in a cruise ship. And we thought that uh, down in thought, New Orleans was efficient. But we thought Javita Vecchio was pretty good too. Yeah. We were outside. We couldn't even get in for the first 10 or 15 minutes. It, but once you got in, it was good. Off in the distance, just to the left, is where they split us. They split us up right over here. And then up there is where the station. other people go. And it's split by muster. So here we go. Off to our you muster station. They, I really like how they did the we muster. We came straight through the muster. 
in Esnidia, here in the local. This local would have been called Oceans and other ships, and they've renamed it. Yeah. Alright everyone, so you know me, I gotta look through. And these are all the items on this menu that I have to choose one of these. And I'm not sure which one it is just yet. Okay, so we've ordered our drinks. Nidia went totally different than she ever does. Oh wait, she didn't go different at all. She went with her usual, and I don't even have to tell you. So, me, I came up with an idea. My idea is, I'm gonna work through this list, top to bottom. Right now, I'm getting a lime cooler. Next order will be glacier ice. I don't know how much time it's gonna take me. Uh, hopefully more than today. Maybe three minutes. <laughs> hopefully it takes a few days to get through it. But uh, let's try them all and then I'll let you know what I thought was they, my favorite when I'm done. They said it would take till about 2.30 to get to our room, so we might So be I might be a little bit through this list because it is only 11.30 right mm -hmm. now. So I get three hours. Now this is more than I can handle in three hours. He'll be sleeping before oh, he gets oh to God, the I'll be sleeping in this seat right here. So, okay, well, let's do it. So you stop it. So, we're not sure if our room is done or not. It's next to the balcony. But the bed is down near the balcony, which we liked. It's room 91. 78. They're still doing stuff in here, hon. So they're not done. Okay. They're still doing stuff. This is looking awesome, though. But this is our room.
taking a little stroll down the Food Republic. Well, it's quiet. We have a reservation here. We have a cool hallway. It's not open right at the moment. And here it is. And there's an outdoor section down there. And there's Seattle. People are still coming up the gangway. You use all of these little terminals to put in your food order. And that's it. That's Food Republic. Very nice. Very good food. Hey guys, we came to the observation deck mm -hmm. while we wait for our room to get finished getting ready. To give you an idea how big it is, it's all closed in, it's all glass windows. Lots of nice comfortable seats, like a lot. They break it off in like sections. And it's actually like a nice little buffet when you first come in, which I'm heading towards on my camera, where everybody's walking down the there. And there's, yeah, there's another one as well. Okay, so this is the Olive Artist, Goddard. Goddard. And here he has his little angels up front, but they're really little devils partying away with their wine. And he has a couple other ones. We don't believe this is Goddard. Oh, it, that's Goddard. It is. That is a Goddard. There's so that is him as well. There's olives. It's oh. kind of, I don't know, that looks olivey, but it looks cloudy too. This is him. I don't see any olives in here. I see two angels kissing. Okay, so he's into he the angels. An olive, olive here. <laughs> yeah, he did this bill, and the bill, the right side's an olive. This one's loaded with stuffed olives. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, yeah. I don't know what he was doing. I'm sure they all have like names that he's after. He likes martini glasses. He that likes his, with the olives. Absolutely. And then on the other side, we've seen the artwork. It's a guy who does a similar, but what he does is all of the objects that are clear are kind of lacking color. And then he just does splashes of color all around it. So see, so you look at the person, there's the piano with a splash, an elephant with a splash. So he combines like actual odd objects. And I guess in this case, look, it's the sound that's the splash. So they're pretty neat. But you, we've seen these on multiple ships. Yeah, like that's different, a lot of oil. Yeah, the, 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 the amount of texture. texture that he added in there. You can see the texture. It takes a ton ton of oil to produce that That's not kind of but you shouldn't touch you should only get close <laughs> and the auction will be coming up the lightning fast on day three in Juneau like, I like that one. The so one isn't that this morning today's three. day three isn't it yeah so that's this morning you like the one with the tree this one that's the one she likes uh, of these no I like the one with the burning Blue in the mountains. I don't have much video of the artwork, but this one may uh, surprise you. Oh, is that what she said? And yeah. They really. So we found a new artist here. I don't know what this one does. Uh, wow. I came through here yesterday, which you probably saw in video already, and it looks like there are some people in here. When I came here yesterday, they weren't serving anything. This is another piece of the waterfront where you can go sit, enjoy. We were looking at the artwork yesterday. This is that textured stuff that I was looking at. And people are just kind of looking at it. It's, really neat and it's not that I love this textured stuff and uh, they are preparing getting ready 
Once again, it's not a big restaurant, but the food is amazing. Matter of fact, he's making some sushi right now. He's working <laughs> you, on some sushi we rolls. We had some of the best meals here. I'm wow. telling you, this, the food here is absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is where I got the big ramen bowl. Noodles, noodles, sugar. Oh, we got the dumplings. We got the that? dumplings. Here from the medium close. Edamame. That, that's your edamame. That's yeah. a spicy one. The sushi, sushi bar. bar, which is me all day. Let me see if that goes. Oh, I can't go into it now. I wouldn't buy it. There we go. Wow. And they just have a nice little set of rolls, everything. You, and you do. You order this way, and you tap your card, and you place your order, and they bring it to you. And it's one. You'll see one of these little stations. They're working on one right now at every table. It is so convenient, so efficient, and clean. And it is thirsty, and so am I. Sit a little. Do you have any idea what is this? What? <laughs> uh, heart. Uh, right. A big heart. It's beating. The woman. For the gentleman. <laughs> Take my hand. <laughs> Elvis? <laughs> I can sing in love with you. Everybody, I want some fried rice. Uh, nice. Look at the onions and the vegetables. I want to roll. I don't know how they're gonna fit the rest in your bowl, but you're gonna need a bigger bowl. <laughs> you're getting it. Here you go. Are you ready for the last? You, you need a bigger bowl. That's <laughs> it. Go ahead. I'm put your head, all right? It's gonna get right. All right. Are you ready? Right. Right. One. Two. Two. <laughs> Two and a half. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you. You weren't ready, were you? <laughs> Oh. oh, I thought you were talking about Beetlejuice. No, it was Michael Keaton. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't Alec, it was Michael. Oh, he was the guy, the father. The, 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 yeah. 